Hi, it's Kernetex here, and in these videos I'm going to be showing you how to install Linux from Scratch 12.2. So, Linux from Scratch 12.2 was released on the 1st of September. Um, due to other commitments, I'm a little bit late in producing these videos this time. Um, but hopefully I should be able to get them out in the next couple of days. So it'll only be a week or so, uh, roughly after it's been released. For that matter, I've done uh, very little preparation. Um, so if there are any problems, you're going to see me fixing them, hopefully. And I know this has benefited some people, so apologies if you don't want to see how I do that. Just skip forward past that bit. Um, it's also worth mentioning, because people bring up from time to time, um, why I show everything, so all the compiling um, as opposed to just the commands I type in. The main reason I do that is to assist anybody who may be having problems themselves to enable them to compare um, what they've got on the screen to what I've got. So, um, and it also another reason is just to show that I'm not doing anything magical behind the scenes to get Linux from scratch going. I show everything that I do. There's nothing hidden, um, and there's no hocus pocus about it. A lot of video I've watched, videos I've watched in the past on different subjects kind of cut between moments, and you think, oh, there's something missing I've done, or I've missed out on something, and that that's the bit that's been cut from videos. So that's why I show everything. It's 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 then up to you what what bits you want to watch. If you think you've missed something, you can wind the video back or skip it forward or whatever. Um, and as I say, there's there's nothing missing at all. It's all there for you to either ignore or digest as, as you wish. So I've got a machine here that's got uh, an empty disk. Um, it's um, just been booted from a live GUI image of um, Gen 2. And I won't be showing how to create a, a bootable medium with this but I will show you how I got it. Um, go to the Gen2 page, here it is gen2.org and just click on get Gen2 and the image you want to download is this one here, the live GUI USB image. Um, it's the one that I recommend for uh, building Linux from scratch if you've got nothing else or you haven't got any preferences yourself if you're new to this. Um, I've used Endeavor OS in the past. That comes with all the tools and kit needed. Um, I haven't used it for a while, so I presume it's still the case that it comes like that, but there may be some time where it doesn't, so I, I still recommend Gen 2. And the reason probably why Gen 2 works all the time is because it, it itself is a distribution that's compiled from source. So that that's probably explains why everything you need is just there, it's just, you know, you don't need to worry about anything else apart from actually getting on with building Linux from scratch. Um, if you are on Windows, for example, or you're new to Linux and want to know how to actually burn an image uh, that you download from here, you can look at my previous video um, on 12.1, Linux from scratch 12.1, and I'll go through actually downloading it and burning it on Windows uh, to a USB drive. Um, but I won't go into that here. Uh, I'll just keep repeating the same thing. So when you plug the USB in, just boot the machine. Make sure it's set to boot from an external USB drive. You'll also need to, if it's on a relatively modern machine, you'll need to boot from uh, or rather boot into the BIOS and configure it so that you turn the security off from um, Windows, the Windows security part, so that the Gen 2 um, USB stick can boot. Once it's booted, as you saw, you get a welcome screen and this keyboard settings screen. So for a UK keyboard, which is what I use, 
I just change this to uh, 105 key PC, that one there, then go to layouts, configure, remove the US keyboard, that's no use to me whatsoever, add another keyboard, I type in open bracket UK and that searches the, or filters the list and then extended windows is a bog standard desktop keyboard modern keyboard and just click apply so that means any special symbols I type such as hash and um, what the other ones at at sign uh, backslash will be um, uh, or appear on the screen correctly and that's quite important to get that right because if you type some of these characters incorrectly you could be um, typing commands that do things that you don't want done. So that's done, the keyboard's been set up. Next thing I'm going to do is to go to the Linux from Scratch website. www.linuxfromscratch.org and that's the landing page. Now I've got to try and size these fonts on here so that they're pretty reasonably sized but also not too big that things start wrapping around or going off the side of the um, side of the window um, so right okay so that's 130% at the moment that's probably about right so Linux from scratch project go to Linux from scratch here or just click up here there's some information there about what it is I advise reading all this to get a good background as to what it is um, you can download the manual which is what I normally do I normally put it on a local server um, as my internet is a bit patchy sometimes um, unfortunately I've not had time to do that at the moment so we'll be doing it straight from the web so I'll be selecting this read online there's several links here um, stable LFS errata so it's quite new so I doubt if there's any um, errors that's been found in the book yet no there's nothing yet that has been the case where there has been errors crept in um, that have been spotted a few days afterwards security advisories again it's so new there's probably not been any package updates since then um, or any security problems found any vulnerabilities so um, just click on this link here to find out I don't tend to bother with this um, if you just treat LFS purely as its intended purpose which is an educational tool um, it's not worth really worrying about whether a package is vulnerable or not if you're using it as an educational tool your focus is on that fact alone um, so the assumption is that once you've built it you probably wouldn't use it in anger um, if you do want to use it day to day then yes of course the um, vulnerabilities, any patches for vulnerabilities, you will would be well advised to take note of any updates or any patches or anything um, and to use them. But as far as I'm concerned on this video, and maybe if you are just going through the motions yourself, um, it, it's probably okay to ignore them. And finally, the book itself is under this link, Stable LFS. And there we go, we land on the contents page of Linux from Scratch 12.2 and as you can see it was published on the 1st of September 2024.